This video is sponsored by Grammarly. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 20 things you need to do before the first day of school. I hope you guys at least find one thing that's interesting and useful to you, and let's get started with the video. First on the list is to reflect on what you did this summer. Think about what you did these past couple of months, write about your favorite memories, or some things you wish you did. Doing this helps you mentally put an end to the summer holidays and acts as a reminder that the start of the new school year is near. Additionally, if you did anything valuable this summer, you could be taking a lot of those lessons with you into the new school year. Next thing is to clean your room, closet, and workspace. This one is quite obvious since we want to go into the new school year feeling clean and organized. For me, my surrounding environment is so important to my productivity, so I did this by wiping down everything, organizing my papers, stationaries, and doing my laundry. Next, you want to declutter your stationery and specifically organize the ones that you will be using for this upcoming school year. I used plastic boxes to organize my extra notebooks and paper, and as you saw earlier, I used a set of drawers to organize the pens on my desk. On top of stationery, also declutter your online and offline academic and personal files, and organize and categorize the ones that you may need in the future. Within the same theme is to declutter your email inbox. I know I lose track of my inbox throughout the year and end up having tens of unopened emails, so now is the time I will go through everything, open and read all of the emails, although most of them are just advertisements and spam, but delete what is no longer useful and group any if necessary. Next thing is to install apps or extensions that help you increase your productivity, and one I'd recommend is Grammarly. So if you're a college student, then you know the constant struggle with writing emails, applications, and assignments, which is why you need to download Grammarly. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant and an all-in-one writing tool that improves your productivity and saves you time when you have multiple assignments due. It's extremely easy to get started with Grammarly. You can download it as a free browser extension, which is accessible through Chrome, Safari, Firefox, etc. I love how versatile the extension is, solving all of your problems no matter where you work, whether that's in Google Docs or in your email drafts. It will instantly provide you options for phrasing, word choice, and basic grammar edits, making finishing your assignments a lot more efficient. However, I like to use the website for editing more formal writings or applications because it's a lot easier to access the various features. They have a setting goal feature where you can fill out options to ensure that the editing is geared toward your desired audience. Grammarly has been super helpful for me in drafting emails to professors or filling out club applications. The synonym feature allows me to replace overused words in my activity descriptions, and the word count feature helps keep my writing concise and clear. Before we go on to talk about the remaining 13 things, make sure you have tools like Grammarly, so head over to grammarly.com revising to sign up for a free account, and if you'd like to get extra features, then upgrade to Grammarly Premium for a 20% off to help you save time and work more efficiently. On the same note is to delete apps on your device, usually your phone, that distract you from being productive. For me, that is probably TikTok, and it's not even that there's anything particularly interesting on there, but it's just how convenient it is to open the app and scroll for hours, and the accuracy of your For You page really hits different from other apps. So that's definitely gotta go because I will not have time to deal with this during the school year. Next, you want to set up your organization and planning system. No matter where you do this, whether it's through a digital app or pen and paper, find a planning system that keeps you on track and organized with all of your academic and extracurricular involvements. Stay tuned for my video on Sunday because that's exactly what I'll be showing you. Now we're shifting from just organizing to actually preparing for school. So you want to start by setting goals for the new school year, that being academic, extracurricular, or personal goals. I usually write them down on my computer with the goal I have as well as how I want to go about 
achieving it in two to three sentences because keeping it concise makes it a lot easier to reference later. The tenth thing on the list is to find your syllabus and corresponding textbooks. If the syllabus is available, I will briefly go through them and add the term tests and live sessions to my calendar as well as set up an organization system for each class to keep track of the to-dos, assignments, and exams. Next, you want to make sure that you are familiar with the website or systems that you'll be using or even better if you're in person, know your way to classes. For me, everything is unfortunately still online so I'll be mostly using the same websites as before, but what I did was just go through them to test if my logins are still working and update any information if necessary. Another thing that I like to do is to update my resume and cover letter, especially if you are planning on applying for a job or a position anytime soon. I'm doing this now because after my first year and the summer holidays, I've had some new experiences that I'd like to update for future applications. Building on the same idea is to figure out some things you want to do outside of school. Might that be getting a part-time job, volunteering position, or anything. I think this is super important because school is not everything and you do not want to spend all of your time outside studying or watching YouTube. So just consider doing something with your time outside of school to gain more experiences and meet new people. And to conclude the preparing for school portion, now complete any introductory work that's been posted for your courses or any training that needs to be done for your job. The thing with training and prep work is not that they're hard, but they are super time consuming when everything adds up. Also, when you are learning something new, it's always a bit more stressful, so I find that it's just a lot better to get it over with before you get bombarded with more schoolwork. The 15th thing on the list is to write out your morning, evening, and study routine, and follow through with it at least a couple of times before the first day of school. This is part of building healthy habits and routines that will keep you productive and organized throughout the school year. You can check out my previous video to see how you can create your own productive study routine in five simple steps. Next is to create a motivation board digitally or using actual printouts on your wall. Now, first of all, you can't really just rely on external motivation to get work done because that's purely unsustainable. However, this can be helpful if you just need a little boost to get started with work. I am doing mine digitally because I change my mind way too often about the color scheme I want or the types of things that really motivate me. So doing it online is just a lot more convenient for a change and to move things around. Another thing is to figure out some activities that you can do for self-care or to de-stress because it's inevitable that the school year is going to get busy no matter how organized you are and it's so important to be able to alleviate stress, prevent yourself from burning out, and being able to get back onto doing work during a busy period. The 18th thing is to binge watch your favorite shows while you still have time. Take this in whichever way you want, but for me, if I watch everything that I want now, I will feel that I'm kind of over it for a couple of months, so that will at least help me stay focused at the start of the school year. On top of that, you want to spend time with your friends and family because everyone is going to get busy and it will be hard to spend large chunks of time together during the school year. So have fun now and work hard during the year. Final thing on the list is just to rest, relax, and wait for the new school year to start, especially if you did a lot during the summer holidays, whether that's for school or extracurriculars. Now, if you spent your summer relaxing, which is exactly what you're supposed to do, avoid stressing yourself out in these last few weeks about how, oh, I didn't really do anything productive this summer, because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter and you're going to do great during the school year, or that's at least what I've learned from my experience. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found at least one thing that's interesting and useful to you, and thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and check out more of my content, and all of my social media would be linked in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!